We're here with Indiana State wide receiver Chris O'Leary. Chris, first of all, uh, boy, it's got to be a weight off of your shoulders after yesterday in particular, and uh, now the opposite feeling. I mean, just kind of talk about the roller coaster of uh, of uh, emotions you guys have gone through in the last 12 hours or so. Uh, it's pretty unbelievable. Um, Yesterday I thought my career was over, I thought our seniors' careers were over, and it just it didn't feel right after all the work we put in that we came up short, and uh, all we asked for is a chance and gift from God, and we're in there, and we just want to make things happen now. Yeah, does it feel a little bit like a reprieve after yesterday? Oh, it feels I like a rebirth. So. <laughs> it feels like this is our second coming. We were dead, and I mean, they revived us, and we're just ready to go now. Uh, talk about the emotion in the locker room. Your guys' name came up pretty early, so I imagine uh, I, I, I can only imagine how crazy it was. But you know, just talk about seeing your name up there and uh, getting a chance to kind of let loose and, and let off some of that uh, stress that you guys have had for the last uh, day or so. Yeah, from all the projections. I mean, we were doing all the research last night, Mike and I, and from the projections, that was our slot that we were in. So we were just sitting there praying that that our name would pop up, and it did. And uh, I mean, that's been my dream for five years here, just to make the playoffs. And when you see your name pop up, I mean, it's it's inex it's inexplicable. It's just awesome. Yeah, you you've been around town, so you know how long uh, this team has waited. You've been through all, almost all of these uh, near misses. Uh, I just talk about finally breaking through. I mean, that's got to be feel extra special for you, having gone through a few of these before. Mm -hmm. Just uh, yesterday, it was just I couldn't get it out of my head that. I had had a chance on the team uh, four, three times out of my four years playing uh, to win the last game to go to the playoffs, and somehow we lost all three. But uh, this time, the playoff committee respected our conference and just gave us a chance. And uh, we're going to make we're going to make things happen. Yeah, and so now you uh, you have to quickly trend, you know, uh, segue from uh, jubilation to preparation, and uh, you know, just talk about that process. I imagine. You know, aside from maybe Thanksgiving, you know, it's not going to be altogether different of a week. You know, just talk about how you guys get ready. Um, yeah, we'll have to uh, adjust the schedule just because there's no school, but um, we'll all be here ready to go. And uh, today, maybe more just some maintenance stuff, treatment, and, and enjoying it and getting kind of focused again. Then Monday we'll be back at it, film and practice and stuff, and we'll be ready when it comes Saturday. You've been long around long enough to see basketball and baseball go through this. Uh, you're not on those teams, but. You, you probably talked to them, and you know, baseball in particular has been on the bubble a few times and seen their name pop up. Uh, it's got to be pretty cool to be a part of it, even though you didn't want to be in that position. It's got to be pretty cool in the end to, you know, now that you are in, to go, th you know, to see your name pop up there. Yeah, I mean, I can't complain. We're in, and you know, like I said, it's just been a dream of mine, and, and these guys in here just work so hard. And uh, I feel like we deserve it, and I know I know we're not going to let uh, squander our chances. All right, Chris, I appreciate it.